hello in this video i am going to talk about the concept of overflow to understand the concept of overflow let us have certain example 1 is minus 3 plus 2 and second case is going to be minus 2 plus 3 Now let us find out the ones, twos, and threes complement for all these numbers in terms of in terms of this sign representation. So at first case, first column, let us provide the number, and in the second column, let us represent the sign magnitude representation. And in the third column, let us provide one's complement representation. And in the fourth column, let us have two's complement representation. Right here, let us provide minus 3, minus 2, plus 3, and plus 2. Now, for the minus 3, its sign magnitude representation is going to be. 1 1 and 1 this MSB is going to be 1 because of this negative sign and coming to 1's complement it is going to be 1 0 0 and 2's complement will be 1 0 1 and it, for the minus 2 its sign magnitude representation is 1 1 0 1 0 1 and finally for 2's complement is going to be 1 1 0 and for the plus 3 it is going to be 0 for this positive and 1 1 1 is going to be for 3 and coming to 1's and 2's complement for the positive number all these representation will be same so we have 0 1 1 and 0 1 1 now let's talk about plus 2 for the sign vanity representation it is going to be 0 1 0 and 0 this msp is 0 because of this positive sign and now for the complement representation this for the positive number this representation all of them will is, are going to be same so because of that we have 0 1 0 and 0 1 0 Now, let us find its addition. For the first case, we have minus 3 plus 2. Its 2's complement representation is and for the plus 2, its 2's complement its two's complement representation will be right here we have for minus three it is one zero one and for the plus two it is zero one zero let us add both of them we are going to have one one and this one comes right here so right here this is the empty space right here we set this as c out or carry out 
and right here we are going to have the carry in and to find out the whether the overflow exists or not this overflow is going to be equals to XOR of this carry out and this carry in so 0 XOR 0 is going to be 0 so finally this overflow is equals to 0 which indicates that we don't have any type of overflow for when you do set an addition between minus 3 and plus 2 so finally right here let us write we don't there doesn't exist a overflow when you add a positive and a negative number So right here if there is empty right here we say this as a zero so carry in is going to be zero and same thing for this carry out we don't have any type of uh, bit right here so by default we are going to assume this as a zero so carry in x or carry out is going to be zero x or zero is going to be zero so overflow is going to be zero when we have the overflow equals to zero we said this as there will be no existence of overflow so this is for the first case and for the second case we are going to add in between minus 2 plus 3 now for this minus 2 let's find the 2's complement representation of minus 2 is going to be 1 1 and 0 and 2's complement representation of plus 3 